Hey, welcome to Tools on Tech. So I wanted to embed Todoist in Notion. My idea was that I would go to projects and then on the side see the related label or project in Todoist so I can quickly overview what I still needed to do or even add tasks without having to switch between the two programs. I, however, hit a big snag. If you embed Todoist in Notion, it will always go back to the today view, making the whole exercise a bit pointless. I tried to figure out a way around it and I found one and now I'm gonna share that script with you so you can also quickly embed any project or label into your Notion projects. Let's dive into it. So quick dive into what's happening here. I tried to debug the issue to get stuff to embed into Notion and I found out that Todoist uses a hashtag. And the problem is, is that a hashtag URL is something specifically for a browser. Now it works fine inside Todoist because they use JavaScript to get your browser information and then some technical stuff happens and it shows you the right page. But that doesn't work when you embed it into Notion because Notion will cut off this information and then always send you back to the Today page. So what I did was write a small PHP script that takes that URL and then replaces the hashtag with something else and then inside redirects it to the right page. That meaning that Notion can keep the full URL and then when it embeds it, it will just get redirected to the right to do its page and everything is Peachy. I wrote this small script and I'll put a link to the source code in the description down below. That means that if you want to, you can host it yourself. But a lot of my viewers aren't that technical, so I also host it on my toolsontech.com website. So it's for easy use and I'm going to explain it. It only takes a couple of seconds to get URLs modified for usage in Notion. Now, usage is pretty simple, but that was the whole goal, right? you go to Todoist and pick a project or a label and copy the URL. Normally, when you have one of these, you would paste them into Notion, but that won't work. So there's an extra step. You go to toolsontech.com and then Todoist for notion.php. I'll put the link in the description so you can just click or bookmark that. And you get a small form. You can paste the URL on there, click submit, and it will generate a new URL for you that you can copy and that one you can paste into Notion. Paste it into Notion, pick the embed option, and you're done. It shows you the specific project and or label you picked for this, and you can go about your day. That's it. It's a super quick and easy tip, right? Now, if you're wondering if I can access your data, no. The only thing that I can see on my server is the URL name that you provided. And that means that it will have either the label or the project name. If you put something sensitive in the naming, then yeah, I can see that. And I would recommend you do not post that on a specific website on the internet. But I can't access your tasks list or anything like it because the only thing I'll get is like an access denied if I press in the URL. So that's safe. If not, if you don't trust it, read the code, let other people read the code or host it yourself. Link to the script and link to the source code of the script is in the description. Feel free to have a look at it. Uh, comments on it is always welcome. If you think it could be improved, I'm pretty sure there's a few things that I could have done shorter or less intensive. Thanks for watching. This time was a short one. If you like this nice short format, be sure to like it, subscribe to it, make comments about it, then I'll try and make more of these short videos. If you prefer the long one, I also would like to hear because then I'll adjust to that. Now, remember you guys, you're awesome. Keep it up and see you next time.